see it in a, in a little bit. Yeah, like you said, we asked for it, right? We needed this. Well, we did, but I've got to tell you, you could see a little bit of sunshine. Some of our cameras are showing major downpours. The rain is blowing sideways. 45 mile per hour wind just reported in Slidell. Let me tell you, it's coming down. So let me show you what's happening. Here is a look. Do you see that big storm right now that's moving through Slidell? Just got a twit pick in. And look, it now appears we do have a severe thunderstorm warning there. That's for the Slidell area. It is very heavy rain, a whole lot of lightning, very strong winds. Here is a look at the storm that's now moved right into the metro area. We can look from above. That severe thunderstorm warning now looks like it extends right into New Orleans East. This is the storm, lots of lightning with it. And just get ready because the rain is really coming down. Doppler indicated about four and a half inches of rain. Here is a look at the rain that we've had in the past 30 minutes. It's just over an inch. When you get rain like that, you can get some street flooding, so be aware of that potential. And it's crazy because you also have the sun shining. This is a look at the storm that's getting ready to push into the lake. Keep that in mind if you've got across the causeway that it's going to be a rough go. This wind is blowing. Look at how high the rain extends into the atmosphere. Then we can kind of look from the south. There's the rain that's moving to the southwest, and we can see an outflow boundary. That's where the wind is really kicking up. Again, 45 mile per hour wind. So as we look at the forecast model, we see the rain push to the south and the potential that it could fire up again right there at midnight. Then as we go into tomorrow, the potential for some rain right along the coast, we go through most of the day without the rain. Late in the afternoon, it starts to fire up. That's why I think it's going to be another hot day tomorrow. Then here come these storms, 9 o'clock at night, their forecast to move through. So be aware, the weather is changing. This is the heavy rain. Just got this in from Mona at Slidell, and you can see how it's coming down. Where those storms are, you're going to have really low visibility. Our other story was the dangerous heat. Look at that. That's what it was like when Taylor got into the car. I mean, it was hot. Record high temperature today at the airport, 99 degrees. Previous record, 97. That was set in 1993, and it was this extreme heat that caused all of these storms as well. New record high, 101 at Audubon. New record high over in Baton Rouge, 99. So far, the second hottest July on record. And let me tell you, everybody's been talking about that heat. 95 degrees now, the wind northwest. All across the area, temperatures are in the low to the mid 90s, but look, Slidell 74. Get ready, temperatures are going to be dropping in the metro area. I've still got it hot tomorrow with the storms firing up late in the day. Then as you go into the week, you'll see hot into the weekend, but we actually have a cold front that's getting into the area next week. Only slight rain chance, still more heat. Y'all be careful out there on the roadways.